the architectural engineering camp, they provide um, opportunities for the students to use software and design uh, in, the, in the class. They do projects and activities and where they build things. They identify the principles of architectural engineering. They bring in speakers from the outside to identify possible career paths in architectural engineering. And they do specific field trips to reinforce the learning. So all of that is very interactive. It's not just where someone's sitting there lecturing to you. You're constantly actually interacting not only in teams with the other students in the architectural engineering camp, but with professionals in the career uh, that you want to pursue. The design challenge for the students this week was to take an existing building we have here on Lawrence Tech's campus, where our transportation program is housed, and doing an adaptive reuse for that building. We wanted them to think about doing a facelift to make it more energy efficient, to make it friendly, not only for our campus here, but also for the greater communities. Expand the building out to where, like the concrete, there was just like concrete slabs, so we made it bigger. Wanted it more open because it was really dark and dingy in there. We focused mainly with our building on using recyclable materials. We said think about lots of different things, fun places, retail places, places for students to eat, places for students to hang out, to have meetings. So when you walk in you can see that, you can sit down. Uh, right here is a Starbucks or a Dunkin Donuts or something to get coffee. Downstairs we're going to have mainly presentation and meeting rooms. And then this is like a juice bar, something that's inviting. You want to sit down and you want to talk with people, socialize. And oh, by the way, don't forget those that came before us, the giants on whose shoulders we really stand because there were a lot of wonderful alumni that are, have gone on to do great things that we would love to aspire to. So we want to have a place to honor them. We decided to put the Hall of Fame not in a hall, in the public area, so that more people would actually um, read and appreciate the various people that have gone through LTU. And also, the Hall of Fame is around here, like the plaques and memorabilia. And then over here is our Hall of Fame area, right next to an extension of the bookstore. We want to do some improvements to the exterior and interior, make it as friendly as we can for not only those of us that are fortunate enough to be able to walk onto campus, but those that may have some sort of a handicap and need to have access as well. We want to think about green spaces, maybe urban farming, green roofs, many other kinds of things and mostly just promoting a sustainable reuse of that structure. Professor Walters asked you if the uh, rooftop was going to be accessible for people, and you said no. But maybe question that or, or, or reconsider. I also, I also thought you had actually use of what uh, we refer to as a functional space allocation. You know how you have your, uh, your floor plans lay are laid out very well and good use of the space. At the scale of our campus, having something there for the students to go to and connect with. Um, it was a great idea. The students did a wonderful job. They exceeded all of our expectations. They had a chance to speak with engineers. We toured engineering buildings and spoke with engineers at Smith Group JJR. And they learned so much about engineering, so they had a chance to grow as individuals.